Welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk about one effect which blow my mind every time when I use it. And it's not some overlays or something like that. I mean our new halftone stylizer for video. It's simple, it's very easy to use and I'm going to show it to you today. This effect comes with 10 different styles and you can easily customize this effect to fit your video. If you are watching this video, be sure you have a $5 discount on this project. Use the code GRUNCH at checkout to get this discount. So let's get started. So we are in the Premiere Pro right now. After loading, you will have access to the After Effects version and the Mogrid file. First off, I'll show you how insanely easy it is to install the Mogrid file in Premiere Pro. You should have the Essential Graphics panel open in Premiere Pro. And now just drag and drop the file into this panel. And that's it. It's all set. We immediately see our file in Premiere Pro. If you have many moggers loaded, to quickly find the necessary file type C and Z letters, which means Studio Snack, and you will immediately find all our projects and also our new project Halftone Stylizer. I already have a clip on the timeline. I want to split it into two parts because the lighting difference between uh, the two fragments and I want to adjust the halftone stylizer specifically for each fragment. Now simply drag the stylizer directly on the timeline. Trim it to the length of the first fragment. What you now see as the image. Don't worry, we'll easily replace it. Right click on our clip, then make a pre-compose or nest for the clip. I'll call it uh, clip 1. Now we can simply remove our clip from the timeline. Select Stylizer and go to the Essential Graphics panel, then look for Edit. We've made everything clear here so you won't get lost. A separate folder for adjusting the effect and also separate folder for media. To replace the media, select our clip for which we did the pre-compose and simply drag it into that panel, replace the media file. And <laughs> that's it, it's all ready. Everything is very fast and even without any adjustments already looks insanely cool. Let me show you what settings are available. You can turn the camera shake on or off. You can change subtle shades of color. For example, I want to keep the primary colors uh, black and white, but I'll change uh, the mid-tones. I set brightness to 100. Now we can change the color. Let's pick something around, I think, red. And as you can see, the color of our clip has turned more red. But I like yellow for this clip, so I'll keep it. You can set the frame per second for the clip. I really like it when there are freezes in the video. Therefore, I suggest setting it between 8 and 12. But you can play around and find the best settings for your video. And now the coolest thing here, there are styles. We've made 10 different styles in one file. You can literally switch between them and play around. That's why I love this stylizer. Let's select dots one. As you can see, everything changes incredibly fast. Now I'll show you how you can adjust the effect. With the threshold, the higher the volume, the fewer bright parts, and in my case, fewer white parts. Be careful, try to adjust slowly and by small volumes. I have tested this stylizer and the best volumes I found are between 120 and 180 yeah, approximately. Halftone blurriness is also a very useful settings here. You can do more blurred styles which may give a different result. Uh, I mean, you will get more blur here, I think you know what I mean. We also edit a blur for the media. You can play around here and the less blurriness, the more details you get. Let's try another style. For example, let's choose dots 2. Slightly adjust the settings and render this part on our timeline. Press X on the keyboard uh, to mark the section. You can adjust its length, but in my case Premiere Pro did it uh, perfectly. And press Enter. It might take some time, but we are not in a hurry today. After the rendering is complete, we can see our full animation and stylizer in all its glory. Honestly, every time I'm really thrilled with the result. 
just look at the details and how grungy it looks the yellow shades we adjusted is very top here it's perfectly fit for this clip really guys it's a, such a simple yet so cool effect that i just love playing with it let's add the stylizer to the second fragment as you can see it's much darker than the first we also drag stylizer from the essential graphics panel make a pre-compose or nest for the clip and then also add it to the media window in the essential graphics panel again i'm really pleased with the result even without any settings let's choose another style for example let's try corner lines corner here and again it's just evisome each style delights me every time let's set different settings for threshold and blurness i set this based on my clip and lightning your settings may be absolutely different and you're absolutely free to choose and adjust the effect and here is our result and also i would like to show you my favorite style my favorite style here is uh, circles number three this is an incredible style for every clip that i've tasted adjust the settings slightly to match the lighting in the clip and it's all ready but that's not all move into the composition with the, our clip and here you can be absolutely crazy and do whatever you want maybe you can add some different shapes texts and so on everything you do in this composition will be visible in the final result if you want to know the secret tricks for a halftone stylizer then write secret in the comments and then i'll show you them to you for instance let's add some text and put the basic shape below for the shape let's choose a dark color let's see how it looks in the final result you know guys this really absolutely cool but let's change the style and see what happens for example let's choose wave <laughs> and yo this looks amazing and it took just a few minutes and clicks Without any effort, you already get a completely unique clip with the incredible grunge effect. And you can keep playing with the different settings and choose any styles you want. I leave a link to this project below the video and also use the code GRUNGE to save a $5. So today I showed you our brand new project Halton Stylizer, which can really upgrade your clip in just a few clicks. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video. Good luck.